In this video, we're returning to the subject of LPC graduates and the SQE, and in particular, how well they are performing in the SQE2 assessment, but only after the jingle. If you want to be solicitors, why don't you come and visit us at SQE2? Well, folks, it is now official. A large proportion of LPC graduates looking to qualify via the SQE transitional provisions are unfortunately failing SQE2. Before I share the data with you, though, here's a quick reminder, and it's the LPC graduates who can't secure a traditional LPC training contract. They can only qualify as a solicitor now via the SQE transitional provisions. And what that means is that although they're exempt from SQE1, they still need to pass SQE2 and accrue two years of qualifying work experience. So what does the data say? Well, in the April 2024 SQE2 exam, the pass rate was only 36% for candidates who hadn't taken the SQE1 assessment, and that was largely LPC graduates, and it was only 44% for candidates who had SQE2 in July 24. Remember, the SQE2 pass rate nationally has been consistently in the 70s and early 80s, so this attainment gap is very significant indeed. Now, what's not clear from the data is what proportion of the candidates did an SQE2 prep course before sitting SQE2. Uh, the SRA don't tell us that in their stats. And what's the pass rate of those who didn't do an SQE2 prep course at all? We need to remember that many cash-strapped LPC graduates would have self-prepared for the SQE2 without any formal SQE2 training at all. And I bet they account for a significant proportion of the SQE2 fails in these stats, as well as those who probably chose very quick, cheap, substandard SQE2 prep options and now paying the cost, £3,000 of course, to resit. Another important reason why the LPC graduates sadly fail SQE2 is that many don't appreciate the time that you need to spend revising the functioning legal knowledge that's tested in SQE1 because a significant amount of it is tested in SQE2. I suspect that's why a lot of LPC graduates are sadly failing SQE2 because they don't appreciate that only half of the marks in SQE2 are for the relevant skills and 50% of the marks are for the FLK, the functioning legal knowledge, which for many of them they simply haven't got up to speed in sufficient detail before they at the exam. So any risk of failure for LBC graduates is really evident now and if you don't do an SQ2 prep course I think it's even a larger risk for failure so please do bear that in mind. Now no one's saying that every SQ2 candidate who's an LPC graduate needs to do a full SQ1 preparation course but what they do need to do is to ensure that they're getting their FLK, their functioning legal knowledge up to speed before they sit SQ2 or you're setting yourself up to fail. All the more reason for candidates to choose a provider with proven pass rates rather than taking a shot in the dark with one that doesn't publish any pass rates at all or even worse self-preparing for SQE2 without doing a training course at all. I really think that the SRA needs to look at this because candidates are either not aware of the problem or the courses that they're doing simply aren't up to standard. SQETV I hope you found this session useful, particularly if you are an LPC graduate. Lots of things to think about in terms of the choices that you make in your preparation for SQE2, even if you're exempt from SQE1. But also, if you're coming to the SQE as a new SQE candidate and have to take SQE1 as well as SQE2, it really does underline the fact that all candidates need to really seriously consider which course they do to prepare for each of SQE1 and SQE2. And it's clearly a false economy to... Uh, try and save money in the short term by taking a cheap, quick course or perhaps no course at all because you're going to be paying for it in resit fees. So bear that in mind. I always advise candidates to spend more time preparing for the exams, but also saving up before you even take a course in order to ensure that you're the best prepared possible by taking the course that best suits your learning style and gives you the best prospects of passing the SQE. Anyway, if you like this content, don't hesitate to like and subscribe the channel now, please. We love it when you do. And of course, you'll find out as soon as our videos drop if you do become a subscriber. In the meantime, as we always do, when we finish an SQE TV video, we always close by saying, it's now time for the jingle. If you want to be solicitors, why don't you...